Hello guys, and welcome back to, you know what, you know what game this is, right? Okay, yeah, this mist does move. I was going to say it would be a lot more atmospheric if this uh, misty stuff over here moved. But if you're too far away from it, it uh, stops moving. Yep, just still. I guess you're having a zombie invasion too because your entrance way is this entrance way blocked up like that. Why do you whistle like that, uh, Farmer Dill? It's, it's kind of creepy. Are these guys the aliens in the in the Rip Talks or farmers maybe? What? What? Exactly. What? I would be amiss if I did not show this dialogue off that I completely forgot about up to now. What? Okay. What? It's even more confusing because Farmer Bill is saying that in Sparrow's voice. What? I think it's a little broken in this game, uh, version of the game. I'll have to check that. Okay, let's start out with the flame challenge over here, which Sparks doesn't have to tell us anything about. The goal is obviously to, well, you can guess, uh, to flame scarecrows. What else would you hit? Lobbed projectile, almost kind of like uh, what was featured in uh, a hero's tale. Actually, it's not lobbed, but it's more of a rocket. L walking back through it, I'm pretty sure resets the mission. So don't do that. Uh, you don't want to do that. Spyro, your your eyes are not in the right location. What are you looking at? Is there a UFO? Is your head... <laughs> hey, it's Dustin! That doesn't look too comfortable, actually. I mean... Alright, so... Uh, Z? The Z button in this game activates the Atlas right off the bat. Usually it would be select. But on the GameCube, it's Z. Okay, we we're still missing four. Dragonflies, one is in the side area, so there's two. Two left, I think. Or at least, I know, I think there's at least one more. Uh, with the UFOs, yeah. We're chasing the UFOs. Around. There's another, there we go. Light, light, lightning breath and uh, makes uh, sound like we're hitting a vase, and it even drops the same particles as a vase. But where did it go? Follow that flying saucer. For no reason whatsoever, because uh, I don't know. And again, you have leaves falling from the trees. Not the right color of leaf, mind you, but still nice uh, touch that they like to do in the Sparrow series. It's, it's red. These leaves are obviously red. Okay, they dropped the dragonfly, did it? I guess it did. Because it's not moving. Hey, it's Bobby. It was a if it was a dragonfly just uh, walking around. Well, it doesn't have feet. Uh, it would be uh, it'd be a wild dragonfly be running around. So. 
Okay, so first side area we'll go to. Let's let's get uh, get off with the uh, take care of. The uh, hunter area next. I don't think that's the right order to go in, but I don't care. <laughs> We're going in the right order in terms of levels because I wanted to really want to go to uh, Luau Island next, but this is the next one up, so yeah. That means the uh, second challenge area. You know, the start of the level probably is first uh, in line, but usually in the guide of the Atlas. It's called the Atlas in the third game, isn't it? It's not called a guidebook. Yeah, we just passed it right over here. So I'm going the wrong way, actually. Nice. Not nice. Uh, no, no. We're, we're, we're also checking to make sure we didn't miss anything, I guess. possible we've missed some gems here and there. One of those uh, barns had a dragonfly on top. It's like a bridge like this one. I think we... I think it's like the third one of this kind. It had a, a ladder on it that gave us a dragonfly. We got that one. Okay, I don't think these guys have anything else to say. Oh, well. I did help them, didn't I? Base cat! I can't stand them. Anything else? <laughs> Other than that? Space. Space. Exactly. The final frontier. Our mission. To save dragonflies and boldly go where no man has ever went. Okay, Hunter time. Let's let's go talk to Hunter and see what he's up to. He's always been uh, very leery of uh, space cows and chicken and space fiends, uh, especially from the third game. I uh, recently checked out the actual console version of this, you know, the GameCube. I popped it in the GameCube with a disc I got recently. That gym. Pyro, I'm glad you're here. I just knew there was something suspicious about this farm. Space cows are everywhere, and now a big UFO is coming to abduct Farmer Dill's cows. These UFOs are just dicks, aren't they? Uh. Yeah, the GameCube version, uh, the gym animation is broke. A lot of things are broken that wouldn't necessarily be uh, the PS2 version. This was not on the Xbox, so it's just two consoles. Uh, unlike uh, Wrath of Cortex, which was everywhere, basically. There's a prototype tractor beam on this UFO that you can use to beam up the cows and put them into the corral. Hey, wait a minute. How does Farmer John have a UFO? Farmer John. Wasn't wasn't John uh, Superman's father in uh, Smallville? I could be wrong about that. I think it might be John. John, uh... What's the last name? What is uh, Superman's earthly last name? Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try rescuing the cows with the prototype UFO? How do I fly? Seriously. Okay, just gonna... It's actually usual uh, protocol when it comes to explaining controls. I don't actually talk about the controls because that'd be weird. It'd be like, yo dog, we're in a video game and stuff, so press the A button. Well, Hunter did that when, whenever, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hunter does that at Farmer the beginning. Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try rescuing the cows with the prototype when UFO? We first meet him. When we first meet Hunter, he talks about controls. You better hurry. Here it comes now. Don't let that nasty UFO get a single cow. 
Okay, this mission. This mission. It is... Uh, well, not like... I don't like it much, honestly. How do I, uh... Uh, stop him? I should have probably read those controls, uh, but I'm assuming that everything is simple. Okay, there's one way to go up. Okay, here we go. Alright, guys. I can figure out shoot. It's all coming back to me. I realize how I'm supposed to do this. Except you're gonna... My cow. How am I? Okay. How do I move? All right. Isn't it more fun fun when I don't read the controls though? I, I'd rather have more fun, honestly. Okay, they had to just drop the cow. It's attractive beam. Why else? Why would it drop the cow? It would be a pretty terrible one. But it is prototype, so I guess it could potentially suck. Yeah, I got the hang of things now, guys. This mission just... I don't really like it as much. It's okay, I mean... I never, I never remember really being enamored by the idea of catching cows and doing this. Especially, there may be two stages to do this, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to do this a second time, if I, if I recall correctly. UFO, this uh, UFO, UFO, kind of looks like something out of Math Blaster or something. It's been eons since I played Math Blaster. I played in the school and stuff. That cow is good as mine. I wouldn't say carcass because that's what Slippy says, and that's just gross. Well, oh, that cow didn't count. Okay. On the outside, but that was awesome, Spyro. Not? You saved all the cows. By the way, I found this dragonfly hiding in the barn. Here you go. <laughs> hey, it's Jingles. Did you see that? Farmer Dill forgot to lock the gate, and the cows got out. And it looks like there's more UFOs this time. Do you think you're up for another run? Is it just me, or does Hunter Hunter's intonation have... I think his intonation's a bit different in this game. He sounds kind of like it's a different Farmer actor. Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try rescuing the cows with the prototype UFO? It could be he didn't try as hard, but it's always been uh, Greg Berger. Watch out for the gold UFOs. Those mean little guys will shoot your eye out. Yeah, okay. Why does everything have to reference that movie? It's kind of annoying. I wanted to say this is something... Ow! It's actually the the opposite, but uh, every time I play uh, uh, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, this is the first thing I think of. It's very uh, different in terms of how they abduct the cows, but they do abduct cows. Uh, they're more, more monsters, not UFOs, are they? Like ghosts or something. And god dang it, that mission in that Majora's Mask, fun as hell, but damn, it's hard. It gets you on your seat. On the edge of your seat. 
The gold UFOs obviously don't abduct, abduct uh, the cows. Although I, I find that would be a lot more efficient if they could shoot too. Because it, they could defend each other and you have, you have to have less uh, people fighting me. I mean, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't work with, if... Uh, this is where, this is really where I remember it being a pain in the ass. Damn it. Gold, guys. You get out of here. Go back to whence you came, you monsters. Why do you want cows, anyway? They're not that good, honestly. No, hamburgers are pretty good. Unless you're a vegetarian, which, uh... Oh my god, yeah, yeah, vegetables can taste good, too, if they're prepared right and stuff. Okay, can I shoot? Why? Yes, I can. Why not? Why, why couldn't I shoot? Poor cow's stuck in the pen somewhere there, I think. I'm glad you don't have a health meter in here, otherwise... a little easier by getting closer to the fence, I guess. Yeah, that cow's totally stuck in the fence. Cool! Jeez. You did it again! Please take my pet dragonfly as my thanks. Make sure to feed her lots of crickets. She just loves them. Hunter, this is completely uh, not my... Uh... Hey, it's J-Dubs! What? Do you want to take a spin in the prototype UFO? Watch out for the gold you. Okay, you said the same thing. Okay, I just want to see your dialogue. Boy, am I glad you came back. The cows got loose again, and that big UFO won't go away. Farmer Dill needs your help. Will you try... Watch out for the gold you... Okay, but hurry back when you're ready to fly the UFO! Thanks again, Spyro! You- I did not originally bring this up, uh, uh you know, a YouTube, you, YouTuber uh, by the name of Crystal Fisher uh, brought it up, but why is Hunter collecting dragonflies? Doesn't that kind of, uh, defeat the purpose? kind of it's kind of aren't we supposed to be getting these dragonflies and you know don't give up now you were doing so well please save the cows will you try again save the clock tower I mean thanks again Spyro you can come back anytime you feel like taking the prototype UFO for a spin I'm gonna hang out here and watch the skies for space cows. The truth is out there, Spyro. Thank you for finishing. Hunter, uh, look behind you, and I would like to point out there is a floating cow behind you, Hunter. Turn around. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, I only see four cows in the, inside, and one of them has apparently got anti-gravity powers from the UFO or something. Tractor beams, they, can, they can probably be pretty dangerous on your uh, internal organs or something, you know. 
Exploding cows. Pretty fun uh, mini game, though, I think. I'm okay with it. You, the viewers, may have already uh, pointed this out internally, or maybe you've blurted it out, but those cows are actually straight from uh, Sparrow, uh, Sparrow 3. Uh, Sparrow 2, actually. They're from Metropolis uh, in the uh, Winter Tundra homeworld. Why do turn red? Why do you turn me red? Is, is that a... What, what that does? You have it set on turn people red setting? Also, I, I made an unintentional uh, reference to Star Trek earlier. I think that might have been actually in the, the previous part. But then UFOs, you know, with the whole beaming you up thing. I, a nice uh, coincidence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 